Okay, let's get started. Hey horror freaks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification every single time that I post a video and I post every single week. As you can see in the title on today's video, I'm going to be giving you my full review with spoilers of there's someone inside your house that the movie just came out today on Netflix. This is the film adaptation of the novel of the same name by Stephanie Perkins that was released on 2017. Now, I am going to apologize right away if you hear any background sounds because my family is watching friends on the living room and I just got out of work so this is why I don't have my usual cup with me because I'm starving and I have my lunch right there so I am going to say sorry if you hear something on the background I'm trying my best to talk whenever you're not talking or the TV too doesn't sound that much so like all my reviews are with spoilers but if you don't want them just to see if this is worth watching or not on the description box down below there you're going to find my spoiler free review my blog because i like to give you guys the options so giving a little disclaimer ahead let's get into the video now i wouldn't say that it's 100 percent needed to read the book before watching the movie but the reality is that if you have read the book it's going to change a little bit your experience with the movie the movie follows mckinney young that she moved to hawaii to nebraska to live with her grandmother but as the countdown to graduation begins, her classmates are stalked by a killer intent on exposing their darkest secrets to the entire town. You know, that's the whole plot if you want to be really general. Now, basically, the movie starts with the death of one of the football team members. But the scene wasn't that good, if we could say. Like, you could be expecting when you have someone in your house and you suddenly enter the closet and you found so many pictures of yourself and the secret that you're trying to hide from everybody like it's on pictures what you did you could be expecting to have high tension or something but the reality is that i don't know what happened here but even like the sound effects and the music kind of felt a little bit delayed like i don't know it didn't feel right and definitely the scene could have been way better so i don't know i think that it was even a little predictable the reality so basically we have the death of the football team player and then we have the whole school and we have the official presentation if you want to call it that way of the protagonist and her friends and different types of students on the school and then we have this specific girl that she basically starts doing this talking on the lunch and she's like targeting one of the protagonist's friends because she's trans and the reality is that that's really disrespectful and that girl later gets killed and her secret basically she was a racist um, nothing really shocking the reality so then the thing is that the killer uses the face of the person that he's going to kill like he takes the picture of the person and creates the mask and uses it to then kill the person why at the beginning it really looks like they're trying just to take and vent their darkest secrets and like make them into shame but then killing them so the reality is that the intention of the killer it's really bizarre like seriously what's the whole point um i wouldn't say that knowing who is the killer it's predictable only if you have read the book but one thing is that the major change that i write a spot in not just the beginning because the killing they don't go on the, that order is the fact that they changed some characters names so it can be a little hard to like keep up so i would suggest you to maybe look up the whole list of the characters if you read the book if you haven't read the book then you're going to be completely fine but if you have read the book you're probably gonna get confused but by who is who and eventually of course the protagonist is targeted by the killer we finally have the reveal of her secret and why she moved to nebraska basically when she lived in hawaii she was kidnapped by her friends and she was like on a bonfire and she pushed one of the girls that was kind of bullying her and burned her she survived but because of that she even went to court and had a whole case eventually she had to leave and that's why she's in nebraska and now everyone knew so the reality is that their secrets they weren't that oh my god like were pretty simple and really cliche if you ask me like they weren't surprising at all 
So right at the end when the killer is revealed, I wasn't even surprised. The reality is that the movie is one hour and 30 minutes and it's way too long. Like it feels so boring. Like the initial scene could have been way better. And I don't know, I think that they try so hard to be a slasher film that they eventually did trash. Like the reality is that the movie I'm not saying that it's the worst because the story is good, but what is bad is the execution and this whole th and the way that it was brought to the movie. Because the way that the story is portrayed on the book, the characters, everything is way better. So my suggestion to you is to read the book and forget about the movie. Or if you read and you just want to watch it, then you're more than free to, but I just warn you, it's no good. Now at the end, basically one of her friends was the whole killer behind. I'm going to be completely honest, I didn't get like fully his reason to be the killer. Like completely, I, I was like, well why? So basically his name is Zachary, but his name, his middle, his last name is Change. But in Zacharia, it's called in the book, but here it's called Zachary, so they like caught it a little bit the name I don't even know why because at the, the end it's the same but they changed the middle the last name so of course if you read the book you know that it's him but on the movie like I said it's not predictable because you're not never thinking that it's him but at the end it's not surprising and basically the movie ends with she killing him and she giving this speech on her graduation day like a poem because she used to write poetry and like her friends being really proud of her that's it like i was expecting a little bit more since i read the book and i really enjoyed the book and i don't know i think that this was just another slasher movie that netflix definitely could have been done better so i don't know i think that my expectations were a little bit too high but still it's a movie that i wouldn't rewatch. like i said it's pretty boring and it's sad because the whole plot and the whole story is really good. So, like I said, read the book way better. And well, I think that this is all. I don't really have much to say because the reality is that for me was... Oh, okay, so this was it. So, I don't know. I didn't really enjoy it as much as I was expecting. But well, you probably have your different opinion. Maybe you agree with me. Who knows? And well, this is all for the video. Thank you so much for watching. And also today came out VHS 94 that it came out on Shutter. That review is coming on Friday. I have heard pretty good reviews already. So I am really excited. I'm going to be watching it in a few hours. And that review will be coming on Friday at 3 p.m. as always. So thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know in the comments what do you think about the movie. Oh, it's raining. Thank you so much for watching. Um, did you like it? You didn't? You are going to read the book? You already read it? Let me know in the comments. And well, this is all for the video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!